good morning students i am m padmani devi working as math crt in kcbv chidkada visakhapatnam today we are discussing about in 10th class 14th chapter statistics in the previous class we have learnt about the difference between ungrouped data and grouped data we can see in figure 1 it is ungrouped data because it has no class interval in figure 2 it is a grouped data because it has class intervals as well as how to present this data in the form of tables we had also learnt to calculate the mean value for ungrouped data today we will discuss how to find out mean for grouped that grouped data by using different methods now let us recall how to find out the mean of grouped ungrouped data now let us recall how to find out the mean of ungrouped data mean of ungrouped data we know the mean or average of observations mean is equal to sum of sum of the value of value of observations is divided by total number of observations total number of observations mean is nothing but average already we know the children what is the average so mean is equal to sum of the value of observations by total number of observations it a let we take x1 x2 x3 so on x n are observations be observations with respect to frequencies are f1 f2 f3 so on fn these are frequencies now the sum of sum of the value of observations value of observations mean x1 into f1 f1 x1 plus f2 into x2 f2 x2 plus f3 into x3 f3 x3 plus so on fn into plus fn into xn next number of observations number of observations total number of observations total number of observations f1 plus F two plus F three plus one plus F n. Now find the mean. Mean is equal to sum of the value of sum of the value of observations. Sum of the value of observations is F one X one plus F two X two plus F three X three plus one F n X n. divided by total number of observations total number of observations means f1 plus f2 plus f3 plus so on plus fn it can be written in the short form mean is denoted by x bar so in short form sigma fi xi by sigma 
Yeah, fight. Here, sigma is a Greek letter. Sigma is Greek, Greek letter. Sigma means sum of. Sigma means sum of. So, okay children, x bar is equal to sigma fi x i by sigma fi. Next, we learn how to find out the mean of group data. Mean of group data. We have different methods to find mean of group data. They are one is direct method. Second one is assumed method. Third one is step deviation method. Now we will see how to find mean of group data by using direct method. In direct method, formula for mean. In direct method, formula for mean. Mean x bar is equal to sigma fi x i by Sigma F5. Let us solve an example using direct method to find mean of group data. For example, the marks obtained in the mathematics by 30 students of class 10th of a certain school are given below. Find the mean of the marks obtained by the students. Class interval 10 to 25, 25 to 40. 40 to 55, 55 to 70, 70 to 85, 85 to 100. Number of students, 10 to 25 class interval in number of students, in class interval 10 to 25 number of students are 2. In class interval 25 to 40 number of students are 3. In class interval 40 to 55 number of students are 7. Next one, 55 to 70 class interval students, number of students are 6, 70 to 85, 6, 85 to 100, 6 students. Now, we learn how to find out mean of group data. This is a group data. This is a group data because it have class intervals. It has class intervals. 10 to 25, 25 to 40, 40 to 55, 55 to 70, 70 to 85, 85 to 100. These are class intervals. These are class intervals. So, this data is group data. Because it have class intervals. So, uh, next uh, we form another table. We form Another table. First one, class intervals. Columns in columns. First one, class interval. Second column is number of students. Given the problem, class intervals and number of students. So, here class intervals is first column. Second column is number of students. And third one is XI. Third one is XI. Fourth one is FI XI. Mm. Next, write down the given class intervals in problem one by one. Here class intervals are 10 to 25, 25 to 40, 40 to 55, 55 to 70, 70 to 85, 70 to 85. 85 to 100. 85 to 100. Next we can write down also frequencies is 1 by 1. Frequencies are 2, 3, 7, 6, 
six 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 okay children 10 to 25 frequencies to 25 to 40 is 3 40 to 55 frequencies 7 55 to 70 frequency 6 70 to 85 frequency is 6 85 to 100 frequencies 6 now we have to find mean we have to find mean mean in direct method formula for direct method mean x bar is equal to x bar is equal to x bar is equal to sigma f i x i by sigma f i mean x bar is equal to sigma f i x i by sigma f i here f i here f i frequencies f i frequencies x i Class mark. X A class mark. X A class mark. Once we can observe this class intervals 10 to 25. 10 to 25. Here 10 is lower limit. 25 is upper limit. Next class interval 25 to 40. Here 25 is lower limit. 40 is upper limit. Next one, 40 is lower limit, 55 is upper limit. Next one, 55 is lower limit, 70 is upper limit. Next 70 is lower limit, 85 is upper limit. Next 85 lower limit, 100 upper limit. Here, uh, a new word class mark. X is a class mark. Now, we have to find out class mark. Have to find out class mark xi. Have to find out class mark xi. How, how do you find out class mark? How do you find out class mark? Finding class mark is not difficult. Not at all. Class mark is. Class mark is. Class mark is. Average of upper limit and lower limit. Average of. Upper limit and lower limit. Average means upper limit plus lower limit by 2. Average of upper limit and lower limit. So, is class mark. So, upper limit plus lower limit by 2. Here, class interval 10 to 25. Here, uh, upper limit is 25. 25 plus lower limit is 10. 25 plus 10 by 2, 35 by 2 is equal to 17.5, 17.5. So, class mark of 10 to 25 is 17.5. Next class interval 25 to 40. Now we find out the class mark of 25 to 40. Same. 25 plus 40 by 2 is 25 plus 40. How much? 65 by 2. 65 by 2 is 32.5. 32.5. Next, 40 to 55 class, class mark is 40 plus 55 by 2. 40 plus 55 95 by 2. 95 by 2 is 47.5. Next one same. 55 plus 70 by 2. 62.5. Next one. 70 plus 85 by 2. 77.5. 85 to 100. 85 plus 100. 185 by 2 is 92.5. So, understood children, how to find out the class marks, class intervals. Simply, class mark is upper limit plus lower limit by 2. So, these are 
class marks of given class intervals. Next we can observe this formula sigma fi xi by sigma fi. Here we have to find fi xi. We have to find fi xi. So next column is fi xi. fi xi means fi into xi. Here fi frequencies of observations and xi class marks. xi means class marks. So frequency into class mark. Here frequency 2 class mark is 17.5. 2 into 17.5 is 35.0. Next one 3 into 32.5. 3 into 32.5 is 97.5. Next one 7 into 47.5. 332.5. Next, 6 into 62.5, 6 into 62.5, 375.0. Next one, 6 into 77.5, 465 zero. Next, 6 into 92.5, 555 zero. These are values of Fi Xi. Fi Xi. Next, we have to find sum of all Fi Xi values. Sum of all Fi Xi values means sigma Fi Xi. Sigma Fi Xi. Next, sum of all frequencies is sigma Fi. Sigma Fi. Sigma F5 value 2 plus 3, 3 plus uh, I mean we already know that sigma is sum of all the observations. So sigma means sum of already we told. So 2 plus 3 plus 7 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6 is equal to 30. Next we have to find sigma F5 Xi. Sigma Fi Xi means sum of all Fi Xi values. Sum of all Fi Xi values. Sum of all Fi Xi values is 35.0 plus 97.5 plus 332.5 plus 375.0 plus 465.0 plus 555.0. So this sum is. So. Now we have to find sigma Fi Xi. So sum of all Fi Xi values is all Fi Xi values is 1860.0 So now we find the mean in direct method. Formula for direct method is mean x bar is equal to sigma fi xi by sigma fi. So x bar is equal to sigma fi xi value is 1860 by sigma fi value is 30. So we can cancel 0, 0, 3 ones are 3 six are 18, 3 twos are 6. So x bar is equal to x bar is equal to 62 x bar is equal to 64, 62. So, 62 is the mean of given data. 62 is the mean of given data. So, this is the first method. First method for mean of grouped data in direct method. This is the direct method. Okay. Next we learn second method, assumed mean method. Assumed mean method. For finding the mean of group data. Assumed mean method. In assumed mean method, formula for mean. Mean x bar is equal to a plus sigma fi di by 
sigma f i d i here a is assumed mean assumed mean assumed mean and d i deviations i means deviations let us consider same example let us consider same example which we used for previous method let us consider same example which we used for previous method the marks obtained in mathematics by 30 students of class 10th of a certain school are given below find the mean of the marks obtained by the students same problems children class interval 10 to 25 number of students 2 25 to 43 40 to 55 7 or 55 to 76 72 85 6 85 to 100 6 sometimes when the numerical values of xi and fi are large finding the product of xi and fi becomes tedious and time consuming so for such situations let us we will use this assumed method assumed method assumed method we can observe this assumed method formula x bar is equal to a plus sigma f i d i by sigma f i so this data form a new table form a new table already we have planned first column class intervals second column number of student number of students frequencies class marks xi already we learned in first method direct method how to find mean in direct method so now we have to find in find out mean in assumed method same as direct method this is same as direct method so frequencies 10 to 25 10 to 25 is 2 10 to 25 frequencies 2 25 to 40 3 40 to 55 7 55 to 70 6 70 to 85 6 85 to 106 so class marks is already i told how to find out class mark xi xi means average of lower limit and upper limit so class mark xi is equal to 10 plus 25 35 by 2 70 17.5 next one 32.5 next one 47.5 next one 62.5 next one 77.5 next one 92.5 now we can observe this formula x bar is equal to a plus sigma f i d i by f sigma f i here uh, unknown letters a and d i a means assumed mean and d i means and d i means deviations now we have to find assumed mean we have to find assumed mean the first step is to choose one among the xi's one among the xi's as the assumed mean assumed mean is denoted by a assumed mean is denoted by 
a also to further reduce our calculation work we make take a to be the the text say which lies in the center which lies in center uh, center of x x1 x2 x3 x4 x5 x so on xn so we can choose a 47.5 or 62.5 let us choose a 47.5 47.5 the second step next column di i we have to find di i di i means x i minus a x i minus a x i minus a a value is 47.5 a value 47.5 di i value x i minus a so di is equal to x i minus 47.5 now we let find the di values di value is equal to x i minus a x i value 17.5 minus 47.5 minus 30 next one 32.5 minus 47.5 value is minus 60 47.5 minus 47.5 value is 0 Next, 62.5 minus 47.5, 15. Next, sorry, sorry, 15. Fifteen. 32.5 minus 47.5 value minus 15. 47.5 minus 47.5 value is 0. 62.5 minus 47.5 value is 15. Next one, 77.5 minus 47.5 value, 30. 92.5 minus 47 point value, 47.5 40, value, 45, 45. Next two, we have to find the value, F I D I, F I D I, F I D I. F I two D I thirty two thirteen is sixty so minus thirteen to two minus sixty minus fifteen into three minus forty five next forty seven point five into zero zero sixty two point five sixty two point five into fifteen oh ninety next seventy seven point five into thirty value one eighty next ninety two point five value into 45 value 270 so uh, now find the sum of FID values so this sum is minus 60 plus minus 45 minus 105 next one 90 plus 180 plus 270 this sum is 540 so total 540 minus 105 value 435. This is sigma fi di. Fi di. Next sigma fi value already you will find it. Sigma fi is equal to 30. That is 30. So now we find the mean value x bar is equal to a plus a value 47.5. Plus sigma FID I value 435 by sigma FI value 30. We can cancel 31 30, 14.5. So X bar is equal to 47.5 plus 14.5. 47.5 plus 14.5 so 0 1 2 1, 6 62 so x bar is equal to 62 no. 62 is the mean of given data this is assumed mean method okay children next we learn another method step deviation method deviation method 
for finding the mean of throughput data. So, formula for mean in step deviation method mean x bar is equal to x bar is equal to a plus sigma f i u i by sigma f i into h into h here a assumed mean assumed mean h class size class size u i means d i minus x sorry x i minus a by h x i minus a by h now we learn how to find the mean by using step deviation method let us consider some example which you which we used for previous method the marks obtained in the mathematics by 30 students of class the marks obtained in mathematics by 30 students of class 10th of a certain school are given below find the mean of the marks obtained by the students class intervals 10 to 25 25 to 40 40 to 55 50 to 70 70 to 85 85 to 100 frequencies are 2 3 7 6 6 6 so on mm, write down the given class intervals one by one in column class interval column 10 to 25 25 to 40 eh? so on next we also write down the frequencies given frequencies one by one 2, 3, 7, 6, 6, 6, 6, so on. Here sigma fi is equal to 30. Sigma means sum of frequencies. Sigma fi means sum of frequencies. So sum of frequencies is 30. We have already learned about how to calculate class mark of class interval. This class interval class mark is 17.5. Next, this class interval class mark is seven, thirty-two point five. So on. Next, uh, I mean D I is equal to x i minus a. Here, a a, a value is forty-seven point five. So D I value minus thirty minus fifty zero fifteen thirty forty-five. Here we have to find u i. We have to find u i. U i means x i minus a by h x i minus a by h x i 17.5 minus a value 47.5 by h here h is class size class size what is the class size class size is h class size h is equal to difference between two upper limits up to lower limits difference between difference between two upper limits two upper limits respective upper limits or consecutive upper limits upper limits are lower limits so h is equal to 40 minus 25 is equal to 15 so here class size is 15 so 17.5 minus 47.5 by h and h value is 15 so 17.5 minus 47.5 by 15 17.5 minus 47.5 value minus 30 by 15 is equal to minus 2. Next one. 32.5 minus 47.5 by 15. So minus 15 by 15. Minus 1. Next. 47.5 minus 
by 15. So, 0 by 15, 0. Next one, 62.5 minus 47.5 by 15. So, 15 by 15, 1. Next, 17.5 minus 47.5 by 15. So, 30 by 15 is 2. Next one, 45 by 15 is 3. So, I values are minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. So, we have to find FIUI. Now, we have to find FIUI. FI to UI minus 2. So, 2 into minus 2, minus 4. Next one, 3 into minus 1, minus 3. 7, 7 into 0, 0. 7 into 0, 0. Next, 6 into 1, 6. Next, 6 to 12. Next, 6 three is 18. Now, Sum of all values minus 4 plus minus 3 minus 7. 6 plus 12 plus 18 value. How much? 8, 10, no? 10 plus 6, 16, 1, 36. So 36 minus 7 value 29. This is sigma fi ui. fi ui. Now we have we have to find mean x bar is equal to a plus sigma f i u i by sigma f i into h. Okay. Here a value forty seven point forty seven point five into sigma f i u i value is twenty nine by sigma f i value thirty into 15. We cancel 15 ones are 15 twos are. So 47.5 plus 29 by 2. We can cancel 2 ones are 2. 14.5 2 ones are 2. 2 fours are 8. So 14.5. 47.5 plus 14.5 is equal to 62. So, 62 is the mean of given data. So, this is step deviation method. We can observe three methods. We can observe that three methods. The mean obtained from the problem by using three methods. By using three methods. It means... Mean is same, but methods are different. Okay? Okay, students? Next, we take some problem in exercise 14.1 and solve this problem. This is very important problem. The following distribution shows the daily pocket allowance of children of a locality. The mean pocket allowance is 18 rupees. Find the missing frequency F. Here we can observe already mean value is given. Mean value is given. Mean value is 18 rupees. Mean value is 18 rupees. So we can observe this table. Daily pocket allowance is in rupees. 11 11 to 13 is number of children is 7. 13 to 15 number of children are 6. 15 to 17 number of children are 9. 17 to 19 are 19, 13. 19 to 21, F4. 21 to 23, 5. 23 to 25, 4. Here 11 to, 11 to 13 to 23 to 25, these are class intervals. These are class intervals. These are 7, 6, 9, 13. Number of children are frequencies. These are frequencies. So, uh, we can write down class intervals in first column, one by one. And second column in number of children. These are frequencies. 
drive it down one by one. So we have to find frequ missing frequency F. Yeah. We know that mean is 18 rupees. Mean mean x bar value is already given 18 rupees. We know that mean x x bar is equal to sigma fi xi by sigma fi. So x bar value 18. So fi xi value and sigma fi value we have to find. So sigma fi value is 7 plus 6 plus 7 plus 6 plus 9 plus 13 plus f plus 5 plus 4 value is how much? 7 plus 6, uh, 6 plus 9 plus 13 plus 5 plus 4 plus f value is sigma f is equal to 44 plus f. 44 plus f. Next third column, xi. xi means class marks. Class marks. Already I told them class marks. What is class mark? Average of upper limit and lower limit. Average of upper limit and lower limit. 13 plus 11 by 2. 13 plus 11 by 2 value is 13 plus 11 by 2. 24 by 2 is 12. 24 by 2 value is 12. So class mark of 11 to 13 is 12. Next one class mark of 13 to 15 is 14. Next 15 to 17 is 16. Next 17 to 19 is 18. 19 to 21 is 20. Next 21 to 23 class mark is 22. Next class mark 24. Next we have to find Fi Xi. Fi Xi. Fi Xi values. Fi Seven x i twelve seven twelve are eighty four next sixteen four sir eighty four next nine sixteen sir one forty four next thirteen eighteen sir two hundred thirty four f into twenty twenty f five twenty two sir one hundred ten four twenty four sir ninety six so Sum of these values is sigma fi xi. Sigma fi xi values. We can add these values. We get 752 plus 20f. So these values substituting this formula. X bar value is 18 is equal to sigma fi xi value is 752 plus 20 by 20 f sorry 20 f by sigma fi value 44 plus f 44 plus f is transposed to f side of is equal to so 18 into 18 into 44 plus f is equal to 752 plus 20 f so we multiply with 18. 18 into 44 value 792 plus 18 into f 18f is equal to 752 plus 20f. We can transpose the variable terms one side and another and another side constants. So 18f minus 20f is equal to 752 minus 792. 18f minus 20f minus 2f. 752 minus 792 value is minus 40. We can cancel minus minus f is equal to 40 by 2. 2 1s are 2 20s are. So f is equal to 2. So, 20 is the missing frequency F. F value is 20. Okay, children.
children solve the given problem in problem calculate the mean value by using all three methods so you have to write down in your notebook if any doubt ask your teacher thank you children thank you